feedback with me uh, if I sound a bit loud, but because recording needs to be a bit loud. Okay, here is the on page SEO mind map where we are trying to optimize for the keyword wedding ice sculpture Singapore. We know that there are three important things. The page name needs to include the keyword wedding ice sculpture Singapore, and you can do by Tatli, where Tatli is the company name. The meta description needs to start with the keyword wedding ice sculpture Singapore. In the URL, you need to include the keyword wedding ice sculpture Singapore, but every word is separated with a dash. The middle portion, you need to repeat the keywords wedding ice sculpture Singapore at least three to four times. After that, if you have image, you will, re you will need to rename your image to wedding ice sculpturejpeg upload it in the WordPress, and set the ALP tag to, and also the title tag to wedding ice sculpture Singapore. So, what we're going to do is we're going to look at how we're going to optimize. WordPress and do and translate this mind map to uh, the implementation part. Okay. So now this is WordPress. When you log into WordPress, this is the dashboard. So in the dashboard, you in order to do SEO optimization, you need to ensure that you have a plugin called Yoast SEO. And in order to install Yoast SEO, you need to click plugins, install plugins, click on add new, and all you need to do is in the keyword here, you, you type Yoast, Y O A S T, S E O. And you will notice that this is the plugin that we are looking for. Imagine at this point in time, you have not installed the plugin yet. If you have not installed the plugin yet, this button will say install now, like this. So it will appear here, install now. All you need to do is click install now. And after it is being installed, this button will change to a blue color called activate. You need to click the activate button. After you have clicked the activate button, the plugin is considered live. And from time to time, if the plugin developer uh, issues some updates to the plugin, you will see this button update now. Okay? So now we know that Yoast SEO is being installed and now we need to optimize a content so to optimize a content we go to post or post and assuming we add new to create a new post okay and let's say this is the post that we are to create the Remember, we need to optimize the three things, which is the page name, meta description, and URL. So we will cover this part first. This is the page name. And in this case, we are trying to optimize for the keyword gift box Singapore. By capex.sg, this is the company name. Okay, so this is the keyword is in the page name. Next, you need to optimize URL. When we edit here, this is how we optimize the URL. So, 
the problem is sometimes when you're using WordPress or Shopify or whatever, the URL generated is this bunch of numbers and text. So what we need to do is we need to make sure that this URL is optimized for the keyword that we are trying to rank for, which is give box Singapore. So it's give dash box dash Singapore and we click OK. So two things down. The next thing we need to optimize is the meta description. We scroll down here. This is the meta description. And for meta description, in order to optimize meta description, you need to start your meta description with a keyword. So in this case, it's just very simple. Give box, Singapore, full stop. And then you carry on telling people that it's a corporate gift supplier, it's premium and customized corporate gift, right? And this part is where we talk about, we can use the tool writer, okay? So after we have done that, we notice that we also have installed Yoast SEO. However, Yoast SEO, what I like about Yoast SEO is it has a it has two traffic light. The first traffic light is called the readability traffic light, and the second traffic light is called the SEO traffic light. The readability traffic light simply tells you whether you sound like the human or you start to sound like garbage. Okay, so readability is okay, and SEO traffic light it is not available. Why is it not available? Because at this point in time, we have not tell Yoast SEO this page what keyword we need, we are optimizing for. Okay, so the step to tell Yoast SEO this page what we are optimizing for is firstly, we need to copy this keyword, right? This is the keyword, keyboard Singapore that we are optimizing for. We scroll down and all the way at the bottom, there's this Yoast SEO section. Yoast SEO section here and there's a SEO section here there's a focus key phrase and all we need to do is just enter the focus key phrase give box Singapore we have made the association and we tell Yoast SEO this page we want to optimize for give box Singapore what I like about Yoast SEO is firstly Yoast SEO will give you a screenshot of how you will look like if you appear in the Google search result. And this is very important because you can visually inspect, oh, my URL, okay, I contain Gibbox Singapore, this keyword, my page name, I contain Gibbox Singapore, and my meta description, I contain Gibbox Singapore. So visually, you can inspect. Another thing about Yoast SEO very good is that this SEO analysis, they tell you where you have gone wrong or where you can improve. In this case, it's telling me that my meta description is too short. I can include more keywords in my meta description. So once I have improved this, this item becomes green. The next thing is it does tell me that my image doesn't have ALP tag. So how do I include an image, how do I optimize an image into this page? Remember the keyword is e box Singapore, right? So let's look at the image that we have. For example, this is the uh, one of the class photo that we are using. So we're gonna say here, we're gonna have to rename this image to give dash box dash Singapore and this image is the JPEG right so I have renamed this image that is the first step the second step is we need to go to the content part where we want to insert the image and we need to just go to add media upload files select files 
this is the image that we have just renamed. We just upload. And the next thing that we need to do is we need to ensure that both the ALT tag, both the ALT tag and the title contain the word gift box Singapore. So we're gonna just type it. It's not case sensitive. Yeah, uh, it's not case, case sensitive, you're right. So, give box Singapore, give box Singapore. And you click insert into the post. And of course, you can adjust the image size if, it, if it, uh, you, you want it bigger. And then you can go and check back here. So, here again i've already optimized the image but it just tells me that this page i have more than one image and the best practices is that only one image has this alt tag so i need to go around and optimizing some of the images right then this one will move to green color okay so this is an example but as long as you see seo analysis green color you are good but not necessarily you need to optimize the green color as long as this is uh, orange color which says SEO is good it is okay right yeah you don't have to optimize all the way until green color green color is the best one, of course now let's look at the readability uh, traffic light what happens when your content is too long I'll give you an example of a long content. Okay. <coughs> and you notice that if your content is too long, what happens? The readability traffic light becomes needs improvement. This means that it's naturally, sometimes you ask your copywriter to write, your content is too long. How do you solve this? Make sure this super long paragraph, one quick way to do it is you can separate it with subheaders and make the paragraph readable. Once you make the paragraph readable, your Readability score will go back to okay. Once you have done all this optimization, you click update. And when the website visitor visits your page, you will see that everything is being optimized for that keyword. Right? And this is how we SEO optimized for on-page SEO. Thank you.